Hello there, so it's Michael with another guitar lesson from Northern Ireland and I'm going to break down a nice live acoustic version of Taciturn by Corey Taylor of Stone Sour and Slipknot. So let's look at how to play the intro. So the song's going to be mostly holding down some kind of chord shape and then doing a picking pattern on it and then there's some strumming later. So let's look at the intro. Just hold down an A minor chord and then we're going to pick the three skinniest strings like this. Now, th there's a number of ways you could think of the timing in this. When I tabbed this out, it felt like a pulse of six notes, so I put it in 6-4 time. So all that means is you'd be counting in like groups of sixes, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Just to not waste too much time in that and keep it simple. Just think of it that way, okay? So in the first bar of the song, you're going to do two groups of six then on that chord. So this would be one group of six. Just do that twice. And it's just going to keep repeating like that. Now I like to do down, up, up. So down on the high E string. And up on the B and G string. So this is the full intro then. And as you see, just strum the A minor chord at the end of that passage. So into the verse when the singing starts and you'll have to try a few different chord shapes here. Same pick an idea though. So let me play through the whole verse and then I'll help you with it a bit. So first shape will be this. So that's the first bar of the verse. Then you change to this shape, which is just kind of implying some kind of G chord. So that's open D, G strings, and then third fret of the B string. Then this is implying like a D chord, a D5. Just add your middle finger there. Back to the A minor one. G. D. And some pecking and a strum here. A minor. So keep going with G. Going to three strums, and these are just kind of caresses, really. You're just gliding across the strings, not big boomy strumming. Then we keep going back to a kind of a G. Hopefully, you see how that's going. Then the last part of the verse. And just make sure on that last one you do this. One individual pick 
on that B string to finish off. So it's kind of hard to decipher verse and chorus in this, you know, but I'm just calling this next bit the chorus. So hopefully you're getting the gist of the song. I'm just going to play through this for you, okay, with no real talking. And just to interrupt for a sec, this is kind of implying a C chord this next bit, so this little shape here. And then just a nice gentle C strum at the end of that chorus. All right, into another verse, which is mainly the same stuff, just with a bit of a different ending. So again, let's just go through it without me really having to talk through it so much. And just at the end, you'll do uh, some of the picking. And then a quick hit on what's basically a D5 chord. So that's open A and D string, and just where your fingers already were for the G and the B string. Okay, you give that a hit and then just count to yourself for the rest of the bar. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the big strumming part comes in. So not too much left in the song. Let's look at the strumming parts. Now you hold these chords whatever way you want because they're just A minors, G's, D's and C's, okay? But it looks like these are the voicings that Corey Taylor is using in the video I just transcribed this from, okay? So think of groups of six again. So for each bar here, it's like two groups of six. So let me just play through the whole strumming section. Okay, pretty cool, not too hard to do. So you've got your A minors, G, or you can do, you know, any kinds of G there, four finger G, or just orthodox G. Or sometimes I call this like the classical guitarist's G chord. But that second finger, that fifth string, we're just gonna mute it in this case. So I just like to play it with third and pinky like that. D5, which you could basically play a D there. But we're trying to omit the high E string. And you're also including the A string in there, it sounds like to me. So it would be called like D5 slash A, because it has an A in the bass, but that's not that important. I just try and hit those four middle strings, mute the high E, and I just use my thumb to block out that low E string. Then a C. And that's it there, okay? 
hopefully you can pick up the strumming. It's just basically one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now there's just the odd part where the bars kind of split into two like this. So that would be down, 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 and then the same on the chord change. And you know, I should say, this is all with down strokes. There's no actual up strokes really getting played here. It's all really with downs. So that's most of the song. I'm not going to talk anymore here. I'm just going to play the outro and then that's that.